Hey guys, we did a big 3 day job on cleaning the intake manifold from carbon together with replacing the glow plugs. This could have taken one day less, but we have encountered a technical problem. For a long time we had several fault codes in relation to glow plugs. Knowing that the EGR system does clog up the intake manifold of modern diesel engines, we have decided to combine those two jobs together, removing the intake manifold, cleaning using different methods including our non-professional walnut blasting means and also changing the glow plugs. So let's get into it. We will need to remove the intake hose, some fuel lines, fuel ramp, maybe the injector fuel lines, the EGR feed pipe and all the stuff which is above the intake manifold. Start removing all of the pipes, hoses and sensors located above the intake manifold. Use the soap pads to absorb the diesel oil. Unplug the injector connectors. Unplug the glow plug connector. Unplug the fuel ramp sensors. Move the whole hose spaghetti aside and make it fast using zip ties. Remove the intake boot. Feed the absorbent mats and undo the fuel ramp together with the feed hose. Remove the ramp. Blind the fuel lines. Unfortunately, we forgot about it. I need to buy a special blinding kit for hoses. Now remove the EGR supply pipe. Basically, we are good to go on removing the intake manifold. Just look at that sh**. This will be a lot of cleaning. Let's change the glow plugs first. The manual says to soak the glow plugs with the brake cleaner, but we have also periodically used WD-40 and the brake fluid. The plugs were going out very hard and we have managed to unscrew only three pieces. The last one snapped. The thread was still inside. We've checked the old plugs and they were dated the same year as the car was produced. So basically no one replaced them for 9 years and 250,000 kilometers. We've tried to use all of our extractors, hammering in the Torx, Hex and multi-spline bits, but nothing helped. In the end we had to partly drill out the threaded part. Luckily the glow plug is hollow and we were able to use a small flat screwdriver and a hammer to smash out the remainder of the thread. 
and drill out the rest of the glow plug. The engine's thread was ruined. So we've bought this thread repair kit. It comes with everything you need. We will need to drill out a new hole, tap a new thread and insert the new thread coil. To prevent debris from falling inside the cylinder chamber, we decided to plug the holes with old glow plugs. Towels also can be used. We cut them and dropped inside the plug wells. Now insert the helicoil and break the tool holding pin. Use vacuum, air and magnet to remove everything from the plug well. Also we've tapped the other threads with another tapper of required thread specs. Now it's time to screw in the new plugs. We've bought ceramic grease for glow plugs. Apply it on the thread and the seat. Torque them down to the spec. Looks like the thread repair went well and all the plugs sit properly. Now it's time to perform the cleaning part. Disassemble the intake manifold. Just look at this carbon. We use mechanical cleaning, brake cleaner and kerosene to clean the throttle flap. This is the place where the exhaust gas gets into the intake manifold. Now it is time to clean the manifold itself. Same methods used here including the long hard brushes and flexible saw blades, which did a good job. Replace the gaskets and assemble everything back. Repair the engine's surface. Now it is only remaining to clean the intake ports to make sure that the valves on the required cylinder are closed and no debris will fall into the chamber you will need to turn the crankshaft bolt clockwise firstly we scrape the carbon in the ports with the same saw blades and then suck the gunk out using a slight vacuum cleaner modification using a 19 mm gardena hose it fits perfectly well in those ports and can reach the very bottom We've also decided to walnut blast the ports using our generic sand blaster. Test went well, so we gave it a shot. I've also bought a longer nose for that tool, but unfortunately it didn't arrive in time, so we couldn't reach the very bottom of the port. Results were not bad, but ideally you need a longer nose and vacuum extract the walnuts at the same time you do the blasting. Now it's time to assemble everything back. Apply some silicone spray for better mounting. Install the manifold and torque down the bolts from middle to outside in the star pattern. Replace the metal gasket and install the EGR pipe. Install the fuel ramp. You can tighten the lines using a spanner by hand, but if you like to torque them down, you will need a special hollow socket set. Clean the glow plug connectors using contact cleaner. Now it is only remaining to assemble everything back and test run.
Exhaust extractor activated. Now we need to feed the fuel system using VCDS. And the test run went well. Also, no any fault codes were remaining in the engine module. After one week of driving, my father-in-law said that the car became more responsive and even consumes less fuel now. That's it, and see you in the next one.